Hi everyone, Warren here. Today we're looking at the eMatic 4K Ultra HD Android TV box. This device will allow you to turn your old standard TV into a smart TV, and in some instances make your already smart TV even smarter. On my desk here, I have the eMatic Android TV and its remote. Here's an image of everything you'll receive in the box. Now let's have a look at the unit. On the front panel, you won't find much other than the status LED, which is red when the device is in standby and blue when the device is switched on. We'll check that out later. On the side here, you'll have the TF or SD card reader, and two USB ports for connecting extra storage. On the back, we have quite a bit. We have the AV port for connecting anything with a 3.5mm jack like headphones or home theater systems, an Ethernet port for connectivity, an HDMI port to connect your TV or display, an optical port for connecting newer home theater systems, and the power socket. Now let's have a look at the remote. On the top, you'll have the power button, microphone, and Google Assist button. This can be used for voice commands on your TV. Then we have the directional pad or D-pad with the enter or OK button found in the middle. Below we have that back and home buttons and app list buttons. Then we have the volume up and down and a few quick access buttons for YouTube, Netflix, and Google Play. Now we're going to connect the HDMI cable from my TV as well as the power cable. So we're plugging in HDMI on the back, as well as power. Here we see the status LED switching from red to blue, indicating that our device here is switched on. Okay, so now that our eMatic is powered on, we're going to go through the setup process. Okay, so now that it's gone through its boot up process, we're now going to try pairing my remote to my eMatic Android TV box. So I'm going to follow the prompt on the screen. And on my remote, we are going to hold down the, down the volume down button as well as the OK button in the middle. Now you'll see an LED on the remote start to flash red. The Perfect, they have connected successfully. So now we're going to follow the rest of the setup process on screen with our remote in hand. The first thing you have to do is select your language, and I'm going to select English. And then it's going to give me the option to continue the setup using my Android phone. So I'm going to click continue. Now Google here is giving us a few prompts and we are going to use these prompts in order to set this unit up. Okay, so now we're going to go through the process of setting up the Android TV box using my smartphone. As per the instructions, we're going to say the command. Okay, Google, set up my device. Sure. Oh. Okay, so Google's popped up a screen here, getting started on my smartphone. I'm going to hit next, searching for devices. And it's popped up a code and it wants me to verify the code on the screen. I'm going to say next on that. We need to then select the Wi-Fi network we're going to be connecting to. I'll select Web Africa Fiber. 
and then it's going to ask me to copy my information from my Google account to my new device. This is going to be helpful for when I'm actually setting up the different applications on my smart TV, like DSTV or Netflix or YouTube or Showmax and such. So we'll go copy. We'll select my Gmail account that I'd like to copy over. And it's now copying my account information. This takes a few seconds, so we'll have to just relax while this goes through its process. Okay, actually finished on my screen. It says almost finished. I'm going to hit close. And we are done there now. And for the rest of the process, we are essentially just going to go through it on the remote with the Android TV box. Terms on service, I'm going to hit accept on that. Location, I'll say yes. Help improve Android, yes. And it's bringing up the fact of Google Assistant that you can use. We're just going to hit continue on that. A few things you should, you should know. We're going to hit continue there. And then get personal results, I'll hit turn on for those. From here, it'll give you a few apps that if you would like to, you can have them installed. If you don't want them installed, you don't have to have them installed. So I'll disable like the, um, the Spotify music and podcasts if I'd like to, but I'm just going to hit install all of them and go continue. Okay, so now it's bringing you through this prompt screen or tips screen and it's advising you can get apps from Google Play. So things on the Google Play Store, you'll be able to download on here. You'll also be able to use the Google Assistant with the remote. And you'll also be able to cast to your TV from devices like your smartphone or any other devices you'd like to use. Okay, so now we've gone through the setup of the Ematic and it's updating all of your usual apps. The process takes a few minutes, but once the installations are done, you'll be able to access your Netflix, DSTV, Showmax, Disney Plus, and much more. So, that's it for setting up the Ematic Android TV box. If this video was helpful at all, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment section. Thanks so much for your time. Goodbye for now.